I'm Libby Hill and I'm a 17 year old girl who lives in Bridgewater. When someone tells you, oh, you've got cancer or um, like you have another illness, you're kind of really just thrown into it. There's no turning back. You can't really do anything about it. So there's nothing really you can do apart from stay positive, keep smiling. And they tell you to do those things anyway, but it kind of, if you're in the right mindset, it really helped you to get through it. And I definitely think that really helped me. When I was first in hospital and the time between when I had an operation to remove my, the main tumour and before I started my first chemotherapy, my, one of my cousins, she made me a bracelet and it said small steps on it because um, when my doctor told me that I, was, I obviously had cancer and I had to go through treatment and an operation, he said it's going to be um, a really big climb so you're going to have to take small steps every day to reach the top of the mountain. And it kind of just became mine and my mum's motto. So we kind of had this mindset that you just take small steps, get, get through everything one step at a time, and you'll get to the top of the mountain. So my cousin made me this bracelet and my mum and kind of all of our family a bracelet. And then my nan said, oh, how about we sell them to help like the charities that are helping us? So a lot of my friends from secondary school want, wanted to get involved. Um, a lot of people said they would make them for us, sell them, so they, um, loads of people got involved and um, when we were selling them we made kind of like a little sign to go with it so it wasn't just like here buy a bracelet kind of thing, it was about, it was, um, about my journey and um, we called ourselves like small steps for Libby so we made a Facebook page so my brother got really involved in that and all my family and yeah just everyone in the local community had one like you'd walk down the street and like you'd see people wearing them and they'd come up to you and be like oh Libby how are you and stuff and like you don't really know these people but it feels really good knowing that they're supporting you and they're there for you and even they've paid two pounds for a bracelet you know that at least they're giving something back for something that you like motivated or set off kind of so that was really really good to see we raised i think nearly two thousand pounds which is quite a lot of money it was quite astonishing um it went to um, a charity called click sergeant and that charity it's click stands for cancer and leukemia in children and what they do they it's kind of a bit like Macmillan cancer, but obviously for children. So they give a lot of support so they can give counselling, they can give you money if you need help with transport, staying near the hospital. They have houses so families can stay near you while you're going through treatment. They help as well. They have a really big push on helping siblings for it as well. So they really helped my brother while I was ill. So he got involved in different things as well so it, it kind of wasn't the focus just on, wasn't on me um, because in a lot of families that often happens whereas the child who's ill has kind of gets pushed into the limelight and a lot of the other siblings aren't so they really push on having kind of siblings help get, help you get through it um, kind of at the same time. When I was in hospital, one of the nurses told us, because we were, obviously, I had lost quite a lot of weight, and I was, <laughs> teenage me was like, oh no, what am I going to wear, kind of thing. And um, one of the nurses said to me, she um, was like, oh, there's um, this lady, she, I think she was a social worker or a counsellor, I'm not sure, she was called Jill, and so um, the nurse said, oh, they come into every child, like, to see you when you have cancer so she comes in and then they're assigned to you kind of so straight away they just kind of turn up on your doorstep and are there to help i had all these childish questions like how am i gonna like buy new clothes <laughs> things like that like what happens when my hair falls out those kind of things and um, so she was really helpful for things like that and they just came in did it all like all the paperwork she did sorted it all out told me about where i can get a wig and, like new clothes like she helped us get money for transport everything they just were so so helpful it was honestly 
like the helping hand you need because my mum often after after all this happened she said you kind of feel lost you're in this numb zone of what's happening because you're out of your ordinary world and they just come in and give you normality and they're just really friendly and helpful I'm quite not not shy but I don't really like having all the attention on me I I'm like oh no please don't like do everything for me all the way through I thought like I want to give something back I feel so in debt to them kind of it's been amazing seeing um lots of different people um um, benefit from what I've like given up so um, there was a lot of girls and, and boys that were going through the same treatment that I was in hospital so obviously when you go into hospital for your treatment and stuff you see um, like everyone else doing it as well and you kind of make friends with these kids these people were getting help from Click as well and knowing that um, that I was kind of ben giving to Click to help these people that you were seeing um, go through the same thing as you was definitely worth it, yeah. Mm. Keep smiling, definitely. Always make light of everything. Never see the bad in anything because it just brings you down so much. And especially, I can speak for having cancer and going through chemotherapy especially. It brings you down so much that you kind of just have to break through the dark clouds as such kind of and you just have to keep smiling um i know it sounds a bit cheesy but <laughs> you just you just have to do it or you just be sat in like a thunk for like the whole three weeks that you're um after the treatment because what happens is when you have the treatment you get really ill for the first two weeks and then you kind of get better and they say if you're not like happy and upbeat then it's just going to take longer and you're going to be sicker for longer so it's definitely so worth it just to even if in yourself you don't feel well, but if you just keep a smile on your face, then that's all that matters. I would say, this is going to be so cheesy, but my mum, she honestly was there for, for me throughout everything. So <clears throat> she was there the day that I was diagnosed. She went to every treatment with me. And I know you have to when you're a 12 year old, look like after your kid, but she was just every single step of the way and even now she keeps te telling me like how proud she is of me how like how well I'm doing and she's just honestly like my number one fan <laughs> she, she definitely is but yeah she definitely inspired me the most to keep, kind of keep, keep going because I knew even though I was suffering she, everyone else around me was and she was there throughout everything to keep me going hold my hand and like come to every appointment with me she even came in to like scans and things when the doctors are like oh she shouldn't really be in there but I was like no she has to come with me <laughs> or I wouldn't do it so yeah she really is my number one fan yeah I still like to help out in the community so last year I did um NCS um where we did a community project and I um been away to different countries so I've been to South Africa and Morocco and I've done kind of like community work out there with um through my secondary school and through college this year so that's been really good to help other people in secondary school I went to South Africa for two weeks and it was honestly one of the most life-changing experiences of your life and where like when you go out there you kind of expect that you're gonna help children and um like go on safari kind of we did kind of like the bog standard you know like touristy thing so as well as like helping children as well so we went out up to the drakensberg mountains and we painted two um no three prime um like classrooms in a primary school which is really, really good. And we got to play with the children, see how it was helping them, meet the headmistress and the teachers that were benefiting from it. Um, then we got to go on safari as well, which is amazing. I loved it.